What is up guys and today we are back on Imagine PS and when you first log into the game you'll notice that everything is pretty much found in one place which makes things a lot easier compared to most servers so there's a bank right here an altar right there and all the basic shops are basically found all the way over here so you can switch like ancients there you can switch to curses over here and you can start thieving here there's a guy here you can sell everything to and the prestige marsh then this guy's over here so there are also like weekly updates on this server so it's very active it has 200 players at peak times there's currently 150 but I'm recording this in like in the morning and there's new content releases every single week which makes this a really fun game and has a really enjoyable end game as well and there's also over 500 custom item drops from creatures and bosses there's a lot of unique stuff about this private server so I'm basically going to be doing a quick beginner's guide or starter guide if you're just starting off so to begin with you're going to want to go to colon colon train which is basically like rock crabs and stuff and you can start leveling up all your basic like melee stats range stats and your mage stats right over here just attack these guys I've got a pretty overpowered weapon the ornate katana pretty sure it's the best weapon in game you will start off with a decent weapon so you can just use that to kill it now once you're basically like max stats on here which is really quick because the xp rates are really quick as well and also you get like random bonuses at any point by staff members so that's a pretty fun thing so once you do that you want to head over to colon colon c key which is basically monsters which drop crystal keys now they have a one in three chance of dropping them it's pretty common and they also have barely low hp so they're pretty easy to kill so you can use these crystal keys on the crystal key chest right over here and you can get some fairly decent loot from it so I just got a 500 mil ticket you can get some good weapons like the bronze karasi right so you can actually just type the command colon colon open all c key if you have like bulk crystal keys and then you can open them all at once so we just got loads of stuff so obligatory sword imagine plate body loads of good stuff over here so once you get some decent armor and weapons you can then head over to pikachu's so you can get to pikachu's by typing colon colon pikachu and you'll teleport straight there so once you get here you basically want to kill these pikachu's they're relatively easy and they can't really do any damage to you and they have the rare chance of dropping the Pikachu pet. Now what the Pikachu pet does is as a 10% increase in drop rate bonus makes it a lot easier to farm for like rarer armor since it's a lot easier to get the drop and although the pet drop is a rare drop it's worth it in the end because of how helpful it is. So after you manage to get the Pikachu pet which might take a while you then want to head over to ninjas so you just type the command colon colon ninja. So if you get 150 ninja kills you can then access the M box zone so basically you want to kill 150 of these which might take a while it's definitely worth it since mystery boxes sell for a really good amount and it's definitely one of the best things to do for money making so if you type colon colon req then that basically shows you all the stuff that you need to do so as you can see you need 150 ninja kills to get to these places but to move on to the next stage you need to loot at least 25 mystery boxes and once you get 25 of those you can then move on to the e turnip so just type that command and these drop some really good gear so as you can see there's like quite a few people here so they drop some fairly good gear and some weapons as well but they do damage as well so you need to be careful keep your health up and stuff i'd probably just use soul split so after you kill two 250 of these you can then move on to the lucky knight so as you can see here you need to kill 250 of these and then you can teleport here now these are fairly high level and they're pretty massive as well but these drop some really good gear but they also do a lot of damage so let's try not to die here but i'm basically just showing you how to kill them and how to get there but yeah you should probably bring some food and be on the curses but yeah there's many ways to like kill the monsters on this requirements guide like there's a zone 2 as well which requires 1000 evil turn of kills and loads of other cool bosses as well the ones i mentioned are probably the best way and easiest way to do it and start earning money so there's also an item called a heaven stone and basically any monster can drop that but it's very rare so basically what the heaven stone does is you can use it on certain items in order to upgrade them and once you do it can either be successful failure or unsuccessful so there's a 35 percent chance of being successful and if it is successful then it will transform into the upgraded version how if it fails then the armor piece will be destroyed so you'll lose the heaven stone and the armor piece along with it if it's just unsuccessful you'll keep the item but you'll destroy the heaven stone so there is a 35% chance of it succeeding though which is basically like a one in three chance however to improve your odds you can actually combine a lucky ore with the heaven stone and this increases its odds so there's a 50% chance of success but a 50% chance of failure so it's either everything succeeds and goes to plan or everything gets destroyed there's no being unsuccessful where you keep the armor piece still it's a one in two chance so that's probably better for you and lastly you could use a finest heaven stone which actually has an 80% chance of success but a 20% chance of failure so that's much better odds than the other two but they are a lot rarer and a lot more expensive so it might be a bit tricky getting your hands on one of those there are also some really cool custom sets like the lucky completionist set so as you can see it had some pretty overpowered stats and also looks really cool but the best set in game is the tyrant set which is also the most expensive i think it costs like 200 dollars in the donator store but it has a five percent chance to double your max hit and a three percent chance to triple your max hit so this is definitely the most powerful set in game and it has pretty much best as in everything so this set is 
is really overpowered. But yeah, it does make the late game a lot more fun and easier to farm the new weekly added content. This server is really fun to play. All right, so just before I pick the winners of the donation mystery boxes I did last video, I'm actually gonna be giving away this tyrant set to one of you guys. So it's worth $200, so it's a lot of money. So to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is like the video, subscribe to my channel, and comment your own game name on Imagine PS. So, and before you comment your name, make sure you actually register and log in first. Otherwise, someone could take your account name. So make sure that doesn't happen to you. But that's pretty much all you have to do to enter. So yeah, let's pick the results of the giveaway. All right, so it's now time to pick the winner of that 20 donated mystery box giveaway. So let's see who the winner is, and it goes to user. All right, that's a pretty simple name, but he's just won himself 20 donation mystery boxes. Congratulations, dude. It was a really rare chance of winning that. One in 194. He is a very lucky guy. Congratulations again. I'll be giving you a prize in games. Just hop on and message me. I have them right here. And also make sure to enter the giveaway for that tyrant set because it's worth $200. Like I said, a lot of money. So thanks for watching. Definitely check out the server. It is really active and a lot of fun, like I said in the video. And make sure to follow the steps I said, which will help you improve a lot if you are a newcomer. So I hope to see you on here soon. And thanks for watching.